We're here with Evan Roy, and Evan is going to teach us all how to properly clean and prepare a ling, sometimes known as a burbot. So, Evan, yes, take it yes. away. All right. So this is your ling. And here on the island, we would throw these back <laughs> this size. Anyways, it's a good specimen. And we'll show you how to clean it up. And for those of you that learned how to uh, clean it on a tree, you do not have to do that. <laughs> what you want to do is get in his belly and just make a cut down his back. What's that noise, Evan? It's just talking to you. It likes it. I'll, we'll Continue take your down the spine. What was that real noise? Air sack. Yeah, just cut down the back. Continue back up again. Is the mantle and expositor the best newspaper to use for cleaning fish after it's been read? Oh yes. Only Before after and it's after. Been read. These have a very large rib cage on them. So you want to try and fillet over top of it. Continue down the back. I'm just going to show you one side just for easiness here. And I messed up and cut some of the ribs. Anyways. Let's keep cutting through here. And the one neat thing about Ling mm -hmm. is once you get one's the flay off, you can peel the skin off once you start it. That's different from any other fish oh. in the fresh water. Hmm. I was in New Zealand and we've caught uh, Cod, and these are known as freshwater cod. And there you could just peel the skin off. So I figured maybe this is the same way here. And yes. So I thought I'd try it. And once you get the flay started, just grab it, grab the skin. Sorry. They're particularly slimy creatures, right? Yes, very slimy. But good tasting. I believe, in my opinion, they're the best eating fish in the yet. And of course, this one's not agreeing with me. And there you have it. Voila. One side of a lane cleaned. And the spawning season is um, almost upon us. Maybe is upon us. Apparently, yep. Yeah. Which they gather in large numbers in great big balls and do their thing. And, and uh, yeah, that's where sure we can appreciate the numbers and gather our food for the coming months. <laughs> or have a tasty fish fry. Sure. So why do people often throw them back or just leave them for the gulls to eat? The one major thing I've heard is just the looks of them. They look like an eel. People don't like it. They cut their lines or take them off the hook and throw them on the ice because they don't like them. I figure they're 
better off for the birds. If I were a bird, I would love this tasty treat. <laughs> Would you say that this texture of this fish is most comparable to chicken? Uh, I would say it's more compared to lobster than anything. Some people boil it in butter. Poor man's lobster, they call it, I believe. Or beer, I've heard that too. Yep, either or. Or just deep fried or pan fried, is however you prefer your fish made. Look at that. Should be one more little cut here. And a pull. Oh. And again, it's making a layer of me. <laughs> These little ones prove to be a little tougher. And there you have it, folks. How do you clean, clean a ling with Evan Roy? Without nailing it to a tree. <laughs>